Hello, my name is Michael Schneiderman and I'm with Alabama Power Company and I'm here today with John Kelly. He is Director of Forecasting and Resource Planning for Alabama Power and we're going to talk today a little bit about a recent agreement that the power company made to purchase some energy from wind farms in the Midwest. Is that right? Yes, Michael. The Alabama Public Service Commission recently approved an agreement between Alabama Power and the Buffalo Dunes Wind Project, which is located in Kansas. And this agreement will allow Alabama Power to purchase up to 202 megawatts of electricity in addition to the Associated Renewable Energy Credits, or RECs, associated with that wind farm. And this is not the first um, deal involving wind farms in the Midwest, is that right? That is correct. Uh, if we go back to 2009, Alabama Power issued a request for proposals, an RFP, for renewable energy as we were trying to search for cost-effective forms of renewable energy for our customers. From that RFP, the first agreement, which was approved in 2011, was the Chisholm View Wind Project, which also happens to be, allows Alabama Power to receive up to 202 megawatts of electricity and also the associated RECs. And combined, this is a pretty significant amount, is that right, of energy? Yes, that's correct. If you add those two agreements together, Alabama Power will have the rights for up to 404 megawatts of electricity and all of the associated RECs from those wind facilities. And I believe that places Alabama Power as one of the largest investor-owned utilities in the southeast for these types of agreements. And just so people understand, 404 megawatts, how does that translate into you know, an amount of energy? How many customers would that serve? That, well, that amount of uh, electricity from, those, uh, from these agreements would serve approximately 100,000 residential customers. And I believe, as far as our energy mix, this would comprise almost 3% of our uh, electricity supply. Hmm. And now, why are these agreements good for our customers? These agreements are good for our customers for one very basic reason, and that is they save our customers money. By bringing in these electricity from these facilities, Alabama Power will be able to displace more expensive forms of energy, and that saves our customers money. Now, John, you mentioned RECs, the renewable energy credits that come with the energy from these agreements. Can you elaborate a little bit more about those RECs? And I understand we have some options related to those. That's correct. These agreements, in addition to the electricity, we have the rights to these RECs, as I refer to them. And these RECs allow us to either keep the rene renewable attributes associated with the agreements. We can use them to comply with some sort of renewable mandate or a clean energy standard. Or we have the option of selling those RECs in the market, receiving money for those RECs, again, to the benefit of our customers. And there's some other benefits as well, I think, as far as the diversity of our fuels. Yes. Uh, Alabama Power has historically had a diverse fuel supply. We've had coal. We have coal and natural gas and nuclear. And for many years, hydro, that's the, one of the first fuels used in Alabama Power, was a renewable fuel in the form of hydro. Now we have another form of electricity. And it's always good to diversify your fuel supply. As the old saying goes, it's, it's, it's good not to put all of your eggs in one basket. And I know, of course, these environmental attributes that you talk about, there is an environmental benefit for this as well. Can you elaborate a little on that? Yes. As you might be aware, the Environmental Protection Agency has been increasingly regulating uh, coal in particular and, and natural gas also with uh, emissions regulations and other things. And these particular agreements are immune to that type of regulation, so it allows us to have a some form of an environmental hedge against future regulations. Okay. And uh, we've talked here about diversity of fuel, we've talked about different uh, some different kinds of renewables, hydro, we've talked about wind. Solar is another form of renewable energy that a lot of people are interested in, but we're not using a lot of that in Alabama now. Why is that? The, the reason we're not using a lot of solar right now is one very basic reason, and that is that the price of solar has been not competitive with our other sources of supply. Now, we do have some solar. Some of our customers have installed s some solar panels, and we, we purchase that electricity, and we pay, we pay our customers for what it's worth to us. 
We are continuing to do research on additional solar applications, and we are looking for large utility scale type solar applications to see if we can find the right price point that is, as I go back to my main premise, cost effective for our customers. Okay. And let's talk a little bit about renewables in general. Uh, it is true that some states are using more renewables overall than Alabama is at this time. Why is that? Some states have instituted mandates by the states whereby they are requiring the utilities to use renewable energy as a certain percentage of their portfolio. That has the consequence of raising the price of electricity in those, in those jurisdictions. And we are opposed to that any form of regulation that forces the price of electricity up artificially because we're trying to keep our prices low and we want to keep our electricity prices competitive for the benefit of our customers. All right. Well, John Kelly, Director of Forecasting and Resource Planning with Alabama Power, thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you.